Reconciliation. Reconciliation and integration is a pathway towards wholeness, pathway towards mental health. We're all after reconciliation. We're all after positive catharsis, right? The, the place in which thesis and antithesis is resolved by synthesis. The place beyond duality, a place of wholeness, of integration, integration of the shadow, integration of the light, where, where our disjointment comes back into alignment. And that's what we're all looking for. We're all, we're all desiring of this experience, of this threshold crossing, of this baptism that finally will make us whole. And you know, life throws you punches and disjointment follows. The, the fractures of trauma are such that we experience a schism and we become frightened even of ourselves. We're no longer safe in our own bodies. And what this does is it casts a shadow upon our experience of the world. We bring this trauma to the doorstep of every moment. And so we become afraid. The world becomes hostile. And this, this dark cloud of trauma that kind of colors our windshield becomes our interpretive framework becomes our lens of perception. And as Chris Lethaby wrote, we see through our lenses and we see with our lenses, but we don't see the lenses themselves. And so that scary world we're seeing through our lenses is being shaped and informed and colored by that lens. But we don't realize that anymore. We've come to believe that the lens is reality, that the map is the territory. But this corrupted lens and this corrupted map that's been, that's been severed and disjointed, that's experienced the schism of trauma, the rape, the transgression, the violation that has brought us into disjointment and discongruence. This is now coloring our world. The body keeps the score. We bring this gnawing anxiety and self-consciousness with us to the doorstep of every moment. It's temporal dislocation. That's why David, David Lenson calls it. And in this temporal dislocation, we overdetermine the present moment. We misread the present moment. And so we're walking on eggshells unnecessarily, a victim of our own self-defeating projections. And we need to break through this. We need to break past this to come back into wholeness. And so that map of the world, that lens of perception has to die. We have to have an experience that is akin to inverse PTSD, right? An experience that is as intense as the trauma was, but it's inverse. And so what that does is it bumps us up a level. And now we can see the lenses that we see through and with, we can actually see, see the lenses themselves. And once we see the lenses, we can dispense with those lenses. And that means we become twice born. And now we meet the world, not with fear, perhaps, but with curiosity and grace and equanimity. Some Something has shifted from the inside out and then everything changes, right? And so that's what we're all after, that kind of healing, that kind of reconciling from disjointment, a coming into congruence, a coming into integrity, a coming into acceptance and a coming into wholeness. We need to integrate all of us and come back into that place. We need to reconcile. We need positive catharsis. And, and my whole life is, is, is about that journey, right? We're all on the eat, pray, love journey. You know, the irony is that these videos serve, uh, serve to me as evidentiary, you know, as, as evidentiary footage, you know, that, 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 that I'm, I'm trying to leave paper trails. I'm trying to map out the terrain, right? I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to, to, to see if I can heal and if I can come back into wholeness, and if I can reconcile, and if I can do it, you can do it, and if we can do it, well, hey, man, then, then, um, well, then we stand a chance at, uh, we stand a chance of, uh, yeah, of walking amongst gods, of returning to the Garden of Eden, of experiencing moment by moment the miracle of naked existence, to marvel, to awe, to feel, to know. And that's what we want. That's what we want. That feeling, that 
feeling at the end of the greatest film you've ever seen. And uh, it's the end of the movie, but everything is better now and everything is going to be okay. That's a very powerful thing. It's very powerful. That's called positive catharsis. I'm not gonna cry, but I'm close. But I think that's what everybody's everybody's after. How about this? Um, the realization in the end is that paradise is not a place you go, but a way you feel for a moment in your life when you're a part of something. When you find that moment, it lasts forever. Es la parte final de la película The Beach. It's just like so beautiful. And then the photograph appears and it says parallel universe and her signature that shows proof that this was once real, that we were once whole. This really did happen. We really did meet. Bittersweet, happy, sad. Beautiful. So friends, yes, I hope we all find that. I think we all are deserving of that, those moments, that connection, magic, romance, freedom.